the Milky Way might be teeming with life. Estimates suggest there are 40 billion planets out there that could potentially support alien life. That's a lot! It basically means planets like Earth could be orbiting one in five stars. Even crazier, the closest one might be just 12 light years away, practically next door in cosmic terms. Imagine, in a world similar to ours, just a hop, skip, and a jump by space standards. There could be another life form existing, maybe even someone like you. Our universe is bursting with weird and wonderful planets. Imagine a swirling cloud of dust and gas collapsing around a young star. Slowly, clumps of material clump together, growing bigger and bigger through a process called accretion. This is how planets are born, each with its own unique personality. Some planets are like our familiar neighbors in the solar system, close enough to study with simple telescopes, but others are outlandish, mind-bendingly strange. Take Hat P1b, for instance. This oddball planet is like a puff pastry, inflated by heat from its star. Despite its size, nearly half that of Jupiter, it's shockingly lightweight, lighter than cork. Imagine a planet that could flow in a giant swimming pool. Then, there's J1407b, the king of rings. This planet has a mind-boggling ring system, stretching out a whopping 90 million kilometers. That's 640 times wider than Saturn's. Think Saturn, but cranked up to 11. And for those who like things low, how about GUPSCB? This planet takes a literally 80,000 years to circle its star. Talk about a long birthday wait. But the universe isn't all sunshine and rainbows. There are also planets that would send shivers down your spine. These terrifying worlds are hostile and deadly. Places where even a short visit would be a fatal mistake. We'll explore those next. Buckle up because I have a story about some truly undead planets. These aren't your typical vacation spots. Orbiting a dead star called PSR B1257 plus 12, also known as Lick, because, well, creepy. There are three exoplanets, planets outside our solar system with some chilling nicknames. Poltergeist, Draeger, and Forbiter. These zombie worlds reside in a terrifying corner of the universe, all thanks to their host star. Lick isn't your average star. It's a pulsar, a super dense, rapidly spinning neutron star. These stellar corpses constantly leak massive amounts of radiation, possibly even the source of super-powerful cosmic rays. This relentless bombardment bathes the orbiting planets in a deadly stream of radiation. Basically, setting foot in one of these zombie worlds would be like being stuck in a giant microwave. Not exactly a recipe for a pleasant stay. Hold on to your spacesuits because things are about to get brutal. We've already encountered some nasty planets, but here's where things get truly horrific. Imagine a planet where death is a nightmarish experience, exceeding even the ancient torture method of Linkai, death by a thousand cuts. Welcome to HD 189733b, an exoplanet where winds rage at an unimaginable 5,400 miles per hour. That's seven times the speed of sound over 30 times faster than Hurricane Katrina. But hold on, the winds alone wouldn't be your demise. Here's the truly terrifying part. Combine those ferocious winds with a planet's silicate rich clouds and its scorching proximity to its star. This means HD 189733b experiences sideways rain of molten glasses. Those 5,400 mph winds would hurl razor-sharp glass shards at you, shredding your body in a horrific hail. Not exactly a relaxing vacation destination. Thinking molten glass sounds bad? Brace yourself for OGLETR56b, the planet that rains molten iron. This distant world might have clouds made not of water, but of iron atoms. So while being ripped apart by glass might be unpleasant, imagine being encased in a downpour of molten iron, permanently frozen in a horrifying Pompeii-like statue. Not a pleasant way to go. You won't believe this next one. Imagine a planet that's basically a living inferno, a real-life hell world. This is Kepler-70b, an exoplanet that actually spent some quality time inside its star. Now, that might sound like a wild fantasy, but it's more nightmare than dream. 
Kepler-70b got swallowed whole by its star's envelope, the outer layer, not the core. This happened during the star's red giant phase, when it swelled up to its biggest size, but with a cooler surface temperature. Somehow, Kepler-70b survived this fiery ordeal. Unfortunately, the experience left it forever scarred. The surface temperature of Kepler-70b now clocks in at a scorching 7,000 degrees Celsius. That's hotter than the sun. Basically, setting foot on this planet would be like jumping into a giant oven. Instant incineration for you and anyone else nearby. Not exactly a hospitable place. Space is scary, but you don't have to travel far to find danger. Take Jupiter, our giant neighbor. It's basically a death trap waiting to happen, straight out of a cheesy disaster movie. Unlike Earth with its solid ground, Jupiter is a gas giant, made mostly of hydrogen and helium. Landing on it would be like trying to land on a giant cloud. Impossible! But let's imagine, for the sake of argument, that you somehow managed to land. Here's what would greet you. First up, the lack of oxygen. Just like a fish out of water, you'd suffocate gasping for breath as you're long starved for air. Not a pleasant way to go. Jupiter's not done yet. Even if you somehow avoided suffocating, 155 miles down is where the real horror show begins. Jupiter spins like a cosmic top, faster than any other planet in our solar system. A day on Jupiter lasts a measly 9.5 hours. This crazy spin creates a monstrous hurricane, the Great Red Spot, twice the size of Earth. Imagine a storm raging at 270 miles per hour, churning for over 340 years. Not exactly a relaxing picnic spot. But wait, there's more. Even if you miraculously survived this hurricane, you'd be trapped. Jupiter's massive atmosphere swallows whole any radio waves or distress signals, cutting you off from any hope of rescue. But hey, at least you wouldn't have to worry for long. The scorching temperature down there is a sizzling 3,371 degrees Celsius. It's hot enough to melt even tungsten, the toughest metal we know. Basically, you'd be instantly vaporized. So much for a trip to Jupiter. Danger lurks closer than you think. While Jupiter might seem like a nightmare destination, we have an even more terrifying neighbor, Venus. Often called Earth's twin, Venus hides a dark secret beneath its whirling clouds. The real horror doesn't lie on the surface, which is a scorching desert of volcanic rock. The atmosphere is the true killer, a thick, toxic soup that would attack you in three ways simultaneously. First, the temperature. Hot enough to melt lead, it would cook you alive in seconds. Second, the pressure. Imagine being crushed by the weight of an entire ocean all at once. That's what the oppressive Venusian atmosphere would do to you. Third, the poisonous cocktail of gases. Take a deep breath of rotten eggs, sulfuric acid, and pure carbon dioxide. That's what Venus has to offer. This toxic mix would melt your skin and lungs, leaving you no chance of survival. The true chilling part? Scientists believe Venus may have been habitable just a billion years ago. A runaway greenhouse effect turned this potential paradise into a hellish wasteland. Who knows what secrets or life forms might still linger beneath the Venusian clouds? A silent testament to a lost world. But wait, there's more. Let's journey beyond our solar system to Methuselah, the SRB 1620 26b, a planet almost as old as the universe itself. Clocking in at a mind boggling 13 billion years old. This ancient world formed just a billion years after the Big Bang. That's three times older than Earth. Methuselah orbits a bizarre binary system of dead stars within a densely packed globular cluster. Formed so soon after the universe's birth and existing in such a crowded corner of space, this mysterious planet has witnessed a history we can only dream of. What wonders has it seen? What secrets does it hold? One thing's for sure. Methuselah is a cosmic time capsule, waiting to be explored. Not all mysteries lie in the distant past. Even in our own solar system, there are lurking unknowns. Take Planet X, the most elusive world in our cosmic neighborhood. This theorized planet hides beyond Pluto, in the far reaches of the solar system. 
No human eye has ever glimpsed it directly. Yet, many astronomers believe it's out there, a massive planet following a strange, elongated orbit. We have no direct proof, but the circumstantial evidence is intriguing. Detailed computer simulations and complex math models all point towards Planet X. It's like a cosmic detective story. All the clues suggest a large, unseen world. Here's what we know. The Kuiper Belt, a region beyond Neptune filled with icy objects, shows unusual clustering patterns. These smaller objects seem to bunch together as if influenced by something much bigger, like tiny fish swimming alongside a giant whale shark. Could this be the gravitational tug of Planet X? The hunt for Planet X is ongoing, and if it exists, it would be a major discovery, rewriting our textbooks and reshaping our understanding of the solar system. The most terrifying planet might surprise you. It's not a scorching inferno or a world bathed in radiation. It's a familiar blue marble hanging in the vast expanse of space. Earth, this planet holds a unique distinction. Its atmosphere is constantly laced with toxins, a product of its dominant life forms. We've explored neighboring worlds in our solar system, but Earth's oceans remain a mystery teeming with unknown creatures. Life here thrives on a brutal cycle of consumption. The strongest prey on the weak and even the dominant species turns on itself. Murder, violence, and disease are constant threats. But here's the twist. Despite the dangers, Earth is teeming with potential. It's a world brimming with life, beauty, and resilience. The unsettling feeling you get gazing at the stars Perhaps it's a reminder of the delicate balance and the preciousness of our existence on this unique planet. Next time you look up, consider this. Earth might not be a utopia, but it's our home, and it's pretty darn fascinating. And if you like this video, click the next one shown on the screen. I'm sure you'll like it. Thanks for watching.